Hello guys, good morning. In this tutorial, we'll see how to integrate selenium with sequili. Okay. So now, if you talk about sequili, what exactly this sequili is? Sequili is itself a separate automation tool, okay, which works on images. So if you heard of uh, selenium, so in selenium we have different different locators like CSS, XPath, ID name, right? We have so many locators so that we can work with the web elements but sometimes you will find issues while finding xpath css and different locator so what we have alternative <coughs> we can use sequily with selenium so sequily works with images okay what exactly it means now if you want to type something on a particular text box what we'll do we'll take a screenshot and <coughs> we'll use equally to recognize that image and perform the activity now let's say you want to click on a particular button or any link, okay, any type of text box, any web element, <coughs> not only web element, you can take any, uh, you can say Windows application as well. So it will work Windows application with web application as well as mobile applications. So if you have the images, you can work with SQLite. Okay. So we'll see this, how we can use this SQLite. So we'll see how to do the setup. <clears throat> then we'll write a small script for login into Gmail. Okay. Let's do this. So I require two jar files for this. So I have already this jar. One jar file for Selenium and one jar file for uh, jar file for SQL. So how you will get this SQL jar file? I have uploaded it into my Google Drive. So I hope that you can directly download from here. Once you click on this, it will ask you please download this. So click on download, it will download in your machine. So I stored in a separate folder called setup. Uh, I have one selenium jar file and SQL. Okay. So let's create a small project. So go to file, go to new, go to project, click on Java, click on next and say SQL demo. Um, just click on next. So here it is asking library. So click on library and click on add external jars. So I will go to the setup part and I will add these two jar files. We are done. Yeah, so now just create a new package. and say demo script and create a new class so i will create a new java class say login gmail and keep uh, first name is capital so login gmail Take public static void me. I'm not using any testing framework like JM testing You can use. As of now, I'm using simple Java program. <coughs> yes, we can start now. So now, if you talk about SQL, we have to take uh, two existing classes. Okay, so one class will use a screen. A screen and pattern. So uh, as the name itself, screen class will focus on your screen. Okay. So once you create object of a screen class, it will focus on your screen. And pattern class will use to find images. So pattern class will mainly focus on your images and it will <coughs> focus on screen. <coughs> Sorry. So let's do the same. Uh, let me create a screen class object. So I will say screen. I will press control enter. This is the shortcut in my machine. Because you are getting so many predefined classes. Okay. So put control space. You are getting one org dot dot script. This is the package name and this is your class. If you want to see how this uh, 
screen class coming so you just find out this package so let me show you once you add this SQL uh, script jar just expand this and just find out this org dot dot script so if you go down org dot dot script and a screen is a class so just find out the screen class yeah here we go this is a screen class so this is the internal architecture just uh, leave this if you are more curious about all the classes just expand the jar file you'll get all the classes so i'm creating objects i will give <coughs> name as a screen only and new screen so this is how we create object in java so i create a small object of screen class now i need to talk about pattern class <coughs> so type pattern and put control space so i'm getting this pattern class which is coming from again org.sql.script package so let me create an object so i will give image one equal to new pattern so you can see it is asking you we have, they have multiple constructors so you can use any of this as of now i will use a screen image okay so whatever image you will give it will accept the same so i need to give the image now so what exactly i will try to do uh, i will click on this gmail button uh, just a link sorry once i click i will type email id password and click on sign up button so i need to find out this image so what i will do i will take a snipper tool this is by default comes in windows so click on new and just take out the screenshot Just save this image so I will save into C drive and I have one folder called images and I will give Gmail logo this is my one image so what I will do I will take the path of this control C and just add here as you know selenium <coughs> Eclipse will support only two backward slash. So we do this. Now I need to click on Gmail. So I need to find out these three images. So again, just do this quickly. Just click on you. Just take the screenshot of this email. Sorry, <coughs> just take again. Click on save and say you name. Quickly, I will take the password screenshot and I will say password. Take one more screenshot for the sign up button. Say button. Give meaningful name, say sign up button. So just mount your script the same way i will create uh, different different object because i have four images now so just say image two say image three and image four and give the respective location so here i will change the location so this is for username so if i go here so this is you name I will say uname dot png then then I will click on password so I will say pass dot png then finally sign up button S I G N get a now so we have created screen class object and we have created four patterns object now this is only your sickly setup now let's start with your selenium one so i will start a browser so i will say web driver driver equal to new firefox driver then i will pin gmail 
can just first maximize so driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize driver dot get and I have to pass the google dot com url http colon double slash www dot google dot com now once this url will open what i will do i will click on that gmail logo so using this screen object we can do this activity so if you say screen dot we have a method called click okay so it will ask you where exactly you have to click so you need to get the exact image path so i have this image one right so i will pass it so it will throw you some checked exception so put mouse over it you can use track it so i will use throw as of now so it will throw you one find failed exception that is coming from sequely so take the java exception you can take sequely exception as well i have taken the base class so if in future if we get exceptions it will handle after clicking we need to navigate to the new page this page right so just say screen dot type type is existing method so you can see this one second method okay. give the pattern file name and the text which you want to enter so what i will do i will take this image 2 because image 2 have taken for username and text i will enter say selenium at the rate gmail.com okay now just we need to again type a password so again i will say screen dot type take the second method give the image so i will take image 3 image 3 is for password and password i will give some random so take it password 1 2 3 4 only this is not the valid credentials so this login will fail once you try in your machine just try with your credential and finally enter click on sign up button so i will say screen dot click and say image 4 so this is a small program now if you see till here i am using sql because i created screen object i have given the images path and here again i'm using selenium i am opening firefox maximizing and passing the url and again i started with sql script and you can see they have very meaningful name click type and if you talk about multiple methods i will show you some of them see capture screenshot we have as we in selenium so we'll see once you go forward as of now i'm just doing simple login activity and uh, as a safer site give some weight as well so it will search for that gmail link so you can say screen dot weight so i will give this weight don't take this weight here yeah, take this one so it will wait for that particular image so i will wait for gmail image first and i will wait uh, five seconds only make it 10 as a better practice okay we are done now let's see and one more important thing once you will run this script you will see the mouse also okay so it will go it will put mouse over on gmail then so total mouse over activity also you can see in sql script so let's run this you are getting some warning so you can remove this package because we are not using it simply right click on this go to run as and say java application see this, see this is some warning you can avoid it you can put some checkpoints as well that uh, browser opening uh, and all I have not written it's opening so we'll click on gmail now
look there is some issues so just see here So once you run this case, you can see here we are getting some issues, right? Now if you try to see this error, it's saying lives directory is not on system path because once you execute this program, what it will do? So we had this jar files, right? So once your program will run, it will create the library folder, lives folder, and it will create all this DLL file. So this DLL file has to be set. So now if you check on console again, they are automatically setting this environment variable for you. So they are trying to add this into your system path. They have already added. So now they are saying log out and log in again okay, since library folder is already in path but not activated. So what we have to do, this is only one time activity, not every time you have to restart your system. Once you are done with SQL, you need to restart your system so that it will come into your uh, uh, system path and it will get activated. Right now it's added but not activated. So we can end this tutorial here. In the part two, I will restart the system and I will show you by running the script how the script will run. If you are facing the same issue, you need to restart your system. So let's restart. In the part two, we will see how to run this script.